Hello viewers, today we are shooting a quick little video explaining how to and why should you check the run out of your crankshaft. And after this I want to do a little channel update for anyone who is interested and of course my longtime subscribers as I appreciate you guys and I kind of want to fill you in as to where I've been and potentially what the future of this little channel may hold stay tuned for that but anyways here we have our dirt bike crankshaft and we are going to verify the run out of the crank before we do the final assembly of our bottom end and it's important to do because if your crankshaft has excessive run out it is not going to spin concentrically to the bearings themselves and these parts of the crankshaft spin very quickly and they are very heavy and if they are not spinning true they are going to cause first off excessive vibrations which are not pleasant to yourself as the operator and also will cause excessive wear to your bearings to your cylinder and your piston as well as everything that's connected to the crankshaft which is the majority of your engine and it's also not going to allow to allow your engine to spin up or rev up as efficiently as it has the potential to do so and now a lot of things can affect the run out of your crankshaft such as of course normal wear and tear it's I highly recommend that you check it if you're pulling a used or OEM crank because it is bound to have moved at least a little bit and it's good to verify. Now this is a brand new crankshaft and the advertiser or the manufacturer advertises one and a half thousandths of an inch or less of run out. And of course one and a half thousandths, two thousandths of an inch most would say is acceptable but I say that it is a little bit it's pushing the envelope as onto what you can you should have and if the installation of the crankshaft is not done properly it can also warp it so you got to be careful when you're installing it not to be hitting it with anything and not to be just to be gentle and firm with it but anyways here you can see that I have our crankshaft set up on these little V blocks set up on the bearing load surfaces and I have my indicator set at the top most point of the surface here and simply all we have to do is give it a little spin like this and watch the indicator and each increment here that you can see is half a thousandth of an inch and looking at our indicator it is showing us that we have about less than half a thousandth of an inch or closer to three tenths of run out which I would say is not only acceptable but pretty dang good so I'm very happy with that we're gonna continue the same process on this side I have a feeling that it should be very accurate as well and we will be ready to continue with the assembly of our two-stroke dirt bike engine and that being done with y'all can see here I want to quickly kind of give my Instagram page a little plug you can see small engine I'd appreciate it if you guys would check it out and here on Instagram I kind of post more often as it's easier to you know type up a little summary of what I'm doing and put a photo up so if you guys are interested in getting in touch with me that is a good way to do so as far as the channel update first things first is our outstanding project projects as I know a lot of you guys may be subscribed for the Yamaha 300 rebuild or our Mako center console boat rebuild and frankly guys for the same reason I have not been posting much YouTube videos as 
Here, firstly, is our CNC business, machining business. On the side, y'all can see I rebuild these cylinder heads and small engines and that type of work. And we have been very, very busy lately. So aside even from that busyness, the next step in rebuilding this outboard engine would be to pull the block from the remainder of the outboard. And as y'all can see, we are very tight on room. So frankly, guys, I, I don't see myself moving ahead with that project in the future without being impacting severely the workflow and efficiency of things as we've got them going on right now. But also, as far as our Mako Center console boat goes, I do intend to rebuild that boat still. It's just been on the back burner as it will require a considerable financial investment as well as a time investment. And I've been all tied up in here in our machine shop, guys, but it's not all for nothing because hopefully stay tuned in the future. We will have updates concerning our space uh, issue as well as our location. Hopefully, God willing, it'd be, it'd be huge, but we'll see what the future holds in that regard. Nextly, as far as outstanding projects, I think that's everything. And I ask that you guys leave a like on this video as, you know, it is very motivating. And, you know, with enough of that, it's easier to pursue this YouTube dream as I do hope it will be a considerable faucet of our business one day but until then you know I'm working at my pace and I, I hope you guys stay tuned and also on a side note here in America before I end off this video we remember Memorial Day and with that I want to say you know God bless America land that I love Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. And also, you know, God bless you guys. Thank y'all very much for watching. Stay tuned for the future. Leave a comment down below. I'd appreciate that greatly. I'd love to be in touch with you guys. Like and subscribe also to my Instagram page. Um, I'm on there more often and but I do see things on all my social media Anyways, have a blessed day and thank y'all very much for watching